When we talk about Egypt, there are many things to be tackled. Well, the most important part when we talk about the diversification of the tourism product. Well, we always talk about diversification, but we have certain kinds that we need to talk more about, especially when it comes to the national parks in Egypt or the ecotourism. So talking about the national parks in Egypt, we have many, many different parks that you will enjoy exploring because we are talking about a lot of things. We are talking about landscape, we are talking about nature, green area, water. Sometimes we are talking also about some of the national parks that are inside Cairo. So it is not only about national parks located outside Cairo in different areas because sometimes you have certain places that are very, very famous. Like for example, when you take about Nab, talking about Ras Muhammad, talking about these important famous sites. But this time we decided to talk about some other sites that are still national protectorates, but this time some of these protectorates are located in Cairo. is one of the beautiful national protectorates and what is interesting about it is that it is located in Cairo so it is very very famous especially for bird watching and of course for anyone who would like to move into a place for relaxation and enjoying its landscape and it is a very famous place for people living in Cairo and also for foreigners who are living in Egypt and working in Egypt so usually they consider this area of Wadi Degla as a place to visit a place to be away from all the modern technology of the daily life and to be just far away to enjoy nature in the mountains of the eastern desert and runs northwest to the Nile Valley just south of Cairo at Maadi. It runs through limestone terrain cutting a deep winding canyon. In parts, floodwaters have carved the rock into spectacular shapes. There are numerous fossils in the rock formations and scattered patches of the petrified wood. carpet the wadi, and Dorcas gazelle and Nubian ibex have been reported in recent years. Lesser mouse-tailed bats live in the caves in the wadi sites.
Wadi Digla is an extremely popular destination for those who want to escape the stress of the city life. It is also a good place to indulge in a spot of bird watching or simply relax with a picnic in the fresh air. The Wadi Digla area in Cairo Governorate was designated as a protectorate in 1999 by the Egyptian Environmental Affairs Agency and covers a land area of 60 square kilometers. This desert land easily reached from Cairo and lies just 10 kilometers away. The protectorate is also one of the most important valleys that extends from east to west and rises in the mountains of the eastern desert. The wadi runs through limestone terrain, which then cuts into a deep winding canyon and few places where you can see the flood water which has carved the rocks into this spectacular shapes. Here, there are many fossils in the rock formations and scattered patches of petrified wood. when we talk about a national protectorate we need to talk more about the fauna and flora the valley has a group of animals living here which include mammals like deer mountain rabbits red fox and more among the insects there are many others 18 species of reptiles have been recorded apparently Wadi Digla is a home to various species of birds reptiles and bats and even larger animals such as foxes and gazelles. Wadi Digla overall is an almost pristine escape. The air at the protectorate feels clean and temperatures are cooler than in downtown. The area is completely quiet. Wadi Digla has something for everyone. Whether you are an avid runner or somebody who just wants to take in the expansive desert views, if you seek an adventure, Wadi Degla is definitely your destination. Getting to this beautiful place is very easy due to its ideal location and great connectivity. in a unique geographical location between Asia and Africa. The country is bordered by the Mediterranean Sea in the north and Red Sea in the east, as it enjoys a unique and diverse environment and natural beauty. And as a measure to conserve the natural biodiversity of Egypt and its fauna and flora as well, a law was passed in 1983 that gave the Prime Minister the power to declare some areas natural protectorates or national parks. And since then, 28 such protectorates have been recognized, which include areas covering coastal, wetlands, geological and coastal areas.
intact rates that have so far been declared in Egypt cover around 15% of the nation's land area. talking about national protectorates located in Egypt, inside Cairo and outside Cairo as well. So when we talk about such parks, we are talking about also the wildlife, about the landscape, talking about the fauna and flora. So these are very, very important elements for any of these national protectorates. And of course, waterfalls as well. And from here, let's move into Fayoum to find out more about Wadi Rayyan. And this is another beautiful site, very close to Cairo, and has many, many important things to make it a unique national protectorate. protectorate located in Fayoum. It attracts a large number of visitors from all over the world. It is one of the major touristic destinations in Egypt, with its fascinating magical waterfalls, which is considered one of the largest waterfalls in Egypt, set between the upper and lower lake. There is also another great experience. It is flying in the air sandboard on the soft sandy hills of the mountain over there. Wadi Rayyan will be filled with a lot of fantastic activities. There are many means of activities over there and also you are going to get a real relaxation and observe the beauty of the nature. Wadi Rayyan is a small valley southwest of Fayyum Oasis, the closest 
Western Desert Oasis to Cairo. The area is characterized by its integrated desert environment, consisting of different wild animals and important various sea fossils. <laughs> created by agricultural runoff water from the Fayum oasis are joined by a channel and charming waterfalls. The upper lake is densely vegetated whereas the lower lake is brackish and its shores are poorly vegetated. But the lakes are wintering habitat for water birds migrating from south and north to Egypt. The area conserves large expanses of desert containing a variety of landscapes and formations. Rare and fascinating wildlife is found in the desert of Wadi Rayyan, along with fossils of creatures of past epochs and cultural heritage sites from ancient civilizations. destination for a soft adventure day trip from Cairo. Over there, one can enjoy an amazing natural scenery. And of course, for those who are interested to discover more about Egypt, still they have the chance to move into the Whale Valley, which is very close in the area. is the spectacular scenery of Wadi Rayyan 
is the contrast between the blue waters of the lake and the golden desert sand. Just try to walk in sand dunes to experience a clear environment where one can relax and forget the normal stress of the everyday life. because it accommodates one of the world's few remaining populations of the endangered slender horned gazelle. The Dorcas gazelle is still found in the area in small numbers, while both the fennec fox and rappel fox are scarce. There are 11 species of reptiles, 9 species of mammals, and 13 species of resident birds and 26 migrant and vagrant birds. attracts about 188,000 visitors a year. Everyone who is visiting this place will never forget this experience. And the most important part, visiting Wadi Rayan is very much easy from Cairo. You can just visit it in a couple of hours. Just a couple of hours to enjoy one of the most beautiful sights for all those who are interested in nature who just want to enjoy nature and to take some time for relaxation it is just an hour and a half hour drive trip by car and you will find yourself in one of the most fascinating sights in the world Well, that was all for our backpack for today. Thank you all for joining us. Always remember, 
Whenever we talk about Egypt, we have many, many different things to talk about. And we are always keen to bring you all about Egypt and about the aspects of all of the kinds or the diversification of the tourism product here in Egypt. So anyone who is interested in a certain thing or a certain activity, definitely you will find it in Egypt. We always say Egypt is the cradle of all civilizations. And on Backpack, we will try to guide you to find out the best place to enjoy your vacation.